We good. What say, bro? It's on, it's on oh, we good to go. We good to go now. Okay. All right, Shalom. Shalom. We're the Shalom. brothers from Great Millstone, Atlanta. Back with another live stream on this Thursday. Before we get started, want to give our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Yahweh. We want to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the occupants across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth, truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. We want to say shalom to you, brothers. Um, and in this particular uh, sit down, we're going to be discussing uh, these celebrities that have not uh, counted the cost of, you know, the, the words and the actions that they're taking. You know, um, lately. You know, it's been Nick Cannon that has uh, came out and said some so-called anti-Semitic statements and had to recant his statement because Esau coming up against them. Now, in counting the cost, if you're going to proclaim that we are the true Israelites, you have to be prepared to face anything that comes along with it. You know, persecution, uh, your family coming against you, losing opportunities, losing money, you know. As you see the men before you, we've counted the cost of doing what we do, okay? So whatever comes along with it, we're prepared to take it on the chin, man, and continue to strive forward. But these guys like uh, DJ from, uh, I forgot who this nigga, we play for the Eagles, and this guy uh, lately, Nick Cannon from Wild and Out, and the various other shows uh, he's been dropped from, and he's had to come out and apologize because he didn't count the cost, you know, and and um, he didn't accept the fact that once he comes against this devil and say that he's uh, uh, a social path, say the so-called white man has stolen identity, you know, and say that he's a rape, rob and murderer. When you say those type of things in this guy's kingdom, you got to be prepared to suffer, suffer the consequences. man. You not think you're just going to speak out against this devil and not have any kind of uh, uh, repercussions. Especially if you're a rich man in this society, you know, because you got you got something to lose. Us brothers, we got something to lose, but it's not on the scale as a Nick Cannon, you know, who has millions and millions to lose. He's got a certain way of lifestyle that he's uh, accustomed to living, you know, and Esau starts stripping that shit away from him. He wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I ain't mean it like that, you know, because he didn't count the cost. All right. Any brothers want to. uh? On time in. Con, I had to, uh, you wanted a scripture, Luke 14? Yeah, Con, Con. Con. This is, uh, I said verse 26. Start at 25, Bob Prashad. 25, mm -hmm. okay. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 25. And there went out, it's like it, and there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Yeah. Hey, so you got to be prepared to put those things aside and also be prepared to lose those things, man. If you want to take up your cross and and, and proclaim the name Yahabashim Yahushai. Proclaimed it with the true Israelites, according to the scriptures, so on and so forth. You gotta, hey, you gotta, you gotta know what you uh, getting yourself into, you know. And this thing that we're in, you know, we know what we signed up for. Now we may not know uh, holistically what's to come down the, uh, the, the the turnpike, but we have a, a inkling of what to be prepared for. The scriptures tell you, man. Uh, if uh prepare thy soul, you know, for temptation, it also tells you uh to par roughly paraphrase uh prepare to be hated by the world because it hated Yahweh Shai first. So all of these things you have to take into accountability before you start talking, you know, shit against the white man, you know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Shema. Verse 27. 
And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. That's right. Hey, a brother get Luke 9 and verse 23. All right, I got you. All right. You can you can read it and hold hold where you at, Shema. All right, this is uh Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 24, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Hey, and those are the things that we're prepared to do, man. We're prepared mm -hmm. to lose our life and the things that come along with it for the sake of your by Shem Shai. But are you celebrities? Or are you just talking shit? Or want to seem like you're on some kind of level? You know, the 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 so people are back but once you say these type of things man and and come up against this so-called white man you got to be prepared and it's like i said it's even harder for a rich man to do so what the scripture tell you that it's easier for a camel to pass through uh the eye of a needle than a rich man to inherit the kingdom of heaven and why is that because he has so much to lose you know he, he don't want to he don't want to be goddamn uh living paycheck to paycheck he don't want to downgrade that damn house. You know, he don't want to uh, cut off certain expenses that he's used to having because he's not he, he hasn't counted the cost, man. So either be a celebrity full heartedly or come out of that shit and and, and, and follow your how by shimmy outside. Man. Ain't no straddling the fence. You either got to be all in with your how by shimmy outside or you got to be all out. Man. Ain't no in between. All right. You read verse 25, bro. Yeah, Khan, this is uh, a. I lost my place. Khan. Um, in one sec. Any brother want to add something while he find it? I'm trying to uh, find this article real quick. <clears throat> Khan, can I add something real quick? Go ahead, Up. Because um, you was talking about, you know, they ain't ready to. Basically, uh, everything that they have, you know, they ain't they ain't ready to lose everything that they have. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they they. I mean, on this side, man, if you you, you up under the rulership of uh, Esau Edom, and he can easily snatch everything that you have away from you just from you know you saying one one thing that he don't like. But mm -hmm. um, but hey, I mean, back you know, basically sticking to uh to to what I was about to say. You know, uh, like like these celebrities, man, they don't they 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 don't really see that they have something or the Lord has something, you know, better in store because they got everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they got everything they need. And this guy, Nick Cannon, is super rich, man. Mm -hmm. Another one that came out was uh, Ice Cube. You know, he came out, you know, talking to, talking about uh, the truth. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Fantasia. You know, mm -hmm. it's been a few of them, but they got to be mm -hmm. ready to uh, lose everything. But I want to get this Luke chapter six real quick. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Luke chapter six and verse 24 it says, but woe unto you that are rich for you have received your consolation. That's right. You know, you, you already got your blessing on this side. I mean, it may look good now, but you got the, the, the shit in the stick. You got your, your riches in Esau kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all brothers got it. That's all I yeah. want to say. Hey, and that consolation that you that these celebrities have received is way less than you know the consolation that we're gonna get, which is ultimately the kingdom of heaven, man, and being you know the first fruits, being a part of that uh elect, man. Hopefully we are those men. And um uh who's that reading? Go uh, ahead. Yeah, this is uh, St. Luke chapter 9, verse 25. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? So, Nick, Kenny, you got to ask yourself that question. You apologize. Now, you are you, you done, you know, gained some of those endorsements back, but you lost uh, the grace of your how about Shimmy how shot because you're not, you know, standing on what you believe in wholeheartedly. You withering, you know, you you're straddling the fence. You're being double-minded, man. Stand on what you believe in. Because, yeah, you may get those endorsements back by apologizing. You you may gain those certain things back from the world. But what are you ultimately losing, man? 
your chance at salvation, man, by dealing with these crackers in the way, man. Right. Hey, come out of that shit, you know, wholeheartedly and be fully persuaded in your own mind that we are the true uh, Hebrew Israelites. Or just be a celebrity, bro, and fuck around on Wild and Out, man. It's cool. Right. That's that's this is not your lot, man. Because like I said, the men you see on on screen here, we're prepared to be persecuted. We're prepared to lose uh, uh, these um, monetary gains. We're prepared to lose endorsements. Brothers are prepared to lose their job, um, women, children, all of that, man, for the cause. Of 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 your how about shimmy out shot mm -hmm. All right, you on? Uh, you can you can drop it up. Did any brother you. grab that Matthew chapter ten? Or oh, you had a precept, bro? Yeah, just to back up what you were saying real quick. Okay, go ahead. This is uh Saint Luke fourteen and eleven. <clears throat> For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, <clears throat> and he that humble himself shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. and I think Day, what is this guy's end game? You know, he's he's on the show with Professor Griff trying to show as if he has some type of knowledge. Now he's putting out these quotes. Are you doing it for yourself? Are you doing it for the nation? Are you are you doing it to glorify Yahweh Shemuel Shai? And and you got to come in a humble and contrite spirit, as it says in uh, Psalms the fifty first chapter. So you shouldn't be if this guy was in the truth, like he claims he does, or you know, making these quotes, he wouldn't just come up. The woodwork and, and say and say what he says what he's saying out of pride. He will humble himself, and like we've been saying, he will count the cost. That's right. Um, and I have an article here. I'm gonna uh, read a few bits and pieces of it. If brothers ain't have a precept, I, I had one. Go ahead, Shamal. Okay, come. This is uh, Luke chapter nine, verse sixty-two, and it reads, "And Yahweh shot said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow." And looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. See, that's what you know, Nick Cannon, like we said, count the cost. You didn't you didn't make that decision within yourself. Hey, if I do this, I know this is gonna happen. This and that. I wouldn't I'm willing to do this and that. So with him looking back, you know, him apologizing is showing that him looking back, man. He wasn't ready when he put his head to the plow. You making those statements coming off his scene head as he's seen as have knowledge or whatnot. He didn't he was he's not fit for the kingdom. He's looking back, man. He's looking back for those riches. Looking back for that vain glory that in the world that's going to that is temporary and it's going to be it's going to be it's going to pass away. You know, it's going to be destroyed, man. Okay, so yeah, just to back up the brother's point. Con, con. Uh, any any more precepts before I get this article? Oh, I got one. Go ahead, bro. This is Matthew chapter twelve and verse thirty. It says, "He that is not with me." Is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. All right, and that's that's for you, you celebrities like such as Nick Cannon that want to uh, try to try to uh, be an Israelite, but you're a celebrity at the same time. You're not gathering uh, for your how about Shemuel Shai, man. Nick Cannon did, never even said said the names, man, and that's the most important thing that the people need to hear. All right, so that just that just shows you, and then he he apologized. That shows you he he scared of Esau, man. He doesn't fear the Lord. All right. This thing is for the prophets. This isn't this isn't uh, uh for you celebrities, man. That's all I have. Con, I like the brother um Kasab said on the comment board. Hey, remember our uh, Lot's wife, man. You see what happened to our ass looking back, you know. And these guys are in that same spirit, man. Yeah, do I really wanna teach my people that we Israelites, or do I wanna goddamn go back to wild and out, you know? And he ultimately he wanted to go back, man, because he apologized and recanted his statements. But um, this is a news article from uh, CBSNews.com. Um, it says uh, this is a quote from Nick Cannon that he posted on the social social media. It says on my podcast, I use words and reference literature. I assume to be factual to uplift my community but instead turned out to be hateful propaganda and stereotypical rhetoric that pained another community. Cannon said in his apology for this, I am deeply sorry, but now together we can write a new chapter of healing. No, all you can write now is a new chapter of BS, man, because all of those things I won't say all of the things, but the basis of the podcast were correct, man. We are the true Hebrew Israelites. 
whether these people like it or not, you know, whether they see see it as anti-Semitic or hateful, it's not, man. This 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 guy has stolen a whole culture. He's stolen a whole land from 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 Gad, you know. That is it's just it's it's facts, man. And all of this can be backed up through history and and literature, man. So why are you backtracking, man? You 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 hit the nail on the head, man. The Negroes or the so-called black man are the real Hebrew Israelites. So what do you mean you, you reference literature and assumed it was factual? That's in the scriptures. So you're saying the scriptures are not factual? But this guy ain't, ain't learned. He ain't studied. You know, that goes back to uh, the lesson I did on Deshaun Jackson. This is the zeal that these guys have, but they don't have the knowledge to back it up. Yeah, you, you was in a zealous stage that, wow, yeah, we the Hebrew Israelites. And, 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 and the white man's the devil and he's this and he's that. But once they come at you and, and want you to back up your statement, do you have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to go through the scriptures? The scriptures and, and say, hey, here in Matthew, who it says this and then third. You ain't doing shit. You shooting blanks at that point, man. If you ain't got no bullets in your gun, once Esau, you know, uh, come at you with the hate speech and the anti-Semitic uh, uh, narrative, okay? Um, I'm going to read a little bit more. It says, on the podcast, which was released June 30th, Cannon and Griffin, the former public enemy member, contend that Jews have stolen black people's identity as true Hebrews. Cannon also implies that those with light skin are inferior. Yeah, the white man is inferior, man, because he know he ain't shit, and that Jake is is, is, is way more sur superior, all right? And that we are the real uh, children of the Most High, man. And it ain't no way around it. Now, we have a platform, and we can stand on it, man, because we've counted the cost. Everything, I can guarantee you that these, myself and these brothers can bring out today, we can back it up with the scriptures, and we're going to stand on it, no matter uh, what these people say, man, all right? We're going to stand bold in the face of adversity, man. That's something these guys don't have in their arsenal. All right? As soon as they catch a little heat, uh, Esau pull a little money out their pockets. Them niggas, wait, 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 wait. I ain't mean it like that. Nah, nigga. You meant that shit. All right? So stand on it. That's it I had on the article. Brothers got precept. Uh, uh, can I get some real quick? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Them brothers ready to get in on. You got it, Shalomar. Okay, Cun, I just wanted to go back to you were saying how he just basically apologized and went back to, you know, his, his regular life. Uh, this is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Exactly. So, I mean, you're going you gonna to come out and, 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 and basically come out with the truth. And <laughs> right. you're going to stand on it. And then as soon as they Esau, uh, they didn't even really roll out on him. They didn't, I mean, they didn't, like, take no money from him. They just canceled his shows. He's still rich. Mm -hmm. You know, but he want to continue that lifestyle, and uh, you know he he ain't ready for the the uh, the persecution that's gonna come with this truth. So he went back to you know he apologized. Oh, I'm sorry, Mister White Man, for what I said, and went back to what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, hey, that's all I had. That's true. They ain't you know taking nothing out, but he gonna feel that hurt from not being on them shows. You know, there's revenue that's not coming in no more. That he gonna he that he need to sustain his uh, lifestyle. I'm pretty sure, bro. That nigga, like you said, that nigga, that dude is rich, Solomon. That man got bread, and he don't want to lose it, man. He know if every network drop him and he be blackballed, what he gonna do? Go sell groceries? What? What he? You know, he ain't ready for that type of lifestyle, man. He ain't ready to be uh uh based, you know, like the scripture said. Go ahead, uh, Kabari call. So on, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 33. It says, Why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. All right? And, and you know, he, he's, he's trimming his ways to, to seek love, man. He, he knows he's an Israelite. All right? He, he was wearing the um the, the turban. Uh, the, the, I don't know if he was wearing fringes or not, but, you know, he, he's trying to live that, that Israelite lifestyle. And, and But now he's trying to go back, man. To see love, because like like your brother said, he want he wants that that money, man. 
All right. He, he didn't want to be uh, uh, fired uh, by the company. All right. So that just showed that that's the spirit that, that these uh, celebrities are in. They claim to be uh, Israelites, man. The Lord's not dealing with them. That's all I have. I think you muted muted a rock. Con the wallet, the wallet. Um, I was gonna say if brothers ain't got uh a precept, we can go back to that loop of the 14th chapter. Kalaya, you got some? Oh, con, con, slack you. Go ahead. Yeah, I got something. I want I want to get this in um Micah. This is Micah. Two, verse 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, you know? So we're supposed to depart from this place spiritually, man, all right? But a lot of these jakes in the world, you know, they're double speak up against what's going on in the world, but soon they get a little heat coming towards their way. They want to go back on their comments, man. All right, a lot of these jakes don't want to lose their position in this place, and they don't want to depart from this place, man. All right, but we're to depart from this place spiritually, man. Okay, so I'm reaching from the top again. This is Micah 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right, and the ones of you, you know, that love this world, you know, that loves the wickedness of this place, as it's going on while Esau Edom is in rulership, you're going to be destroyed right along with this place, man. We know the fashion of this world will pass away, man, okay? But that's all I had. Con, con, con. Uh, a brother can get that Luke 14 uh, started. Matter of fact, you can start it back at verse 25. All right. <laughs> this is Luke chapter 14, verse 25. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. You can't hold it right there. Brother got that Matthew, the 10th chapter. Matthew 10, and uh, you can start at verse 37, Bob Kushan. All right, I got you. All right, go ahead, bro. All right, this is Matthew chapter 10, uh, starting at verse 37. <clears throat> and it says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Keep going. Verse 38. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Keep going. Verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my for my sake shall find it hey and that's one of the costs that you have to uh take into consideration man like i was saying uh you got to be prepared to lose money you got to be prepared to lose your family members because they coming up against you because they think you bugged out that you think the so-called white man is the devil i don't see how <laughs> you can't believe that you can't see that you know they they call you anti-semitic they call you uh you're in a cult you 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 speaking uh hateful speech you got to be prepared for all of that man by by professing it and claiming this amongst the masses okay you can't be thinking you're going to say these type of things and continue to live the way in which you're living that it don't work like that <laughs> you know this is a contract man and and the things in which are in it has consequences and it also has benefits Mm -hmm. Now, if we stick to it, we'll reap the benefits. But if you go astray, and even if you don't go astray, you, you're going to be came, you you're going to be come up against, man. That's just point blank, period. So if you're not prepared, you know, to be uh, ridiculed or persecuted or talked about, hey, stay in your lane, man. Mm -hmm. Let us handle this. Let us do the work, man, because we're prepared to 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 uh, face these these type of things, man. Mm -hmm. So brother can go back to Luke. Uh, this is Luke chapter 14, verse 27. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. <laughs> you can't. Ain't no way. Ain't no way in hell, man. Keep going, Shema. Verse 28. For which of you intending to build a tower sit him not down first and count of the cost, whether he had sufficient to finish it? Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Hey, um, Bob Kushaw, real quick, a brother uh grabbed me uh second Timothy, the third chapter, and started at verse 12. Okay. Whoever got it can bring it out. I got it. You said three huh. and twelve. Con. Huh. Uh this is uh you said second Timothy? Con. Huh. All right, this is Second Timothy chapter three, verse twelve. It says, Yea, and all that that will get that will live godly and Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. Hey, that's a cost you gotta count, man. Suffering persecution. Suffering the white man telling you that you're you're hate you're a hate um group, telling you that you're anti-Semitic, you know, you have to you have to be prepared, you know, for the um for the for the scenarios and, and the rhetoric that Esau is gonna come out just to try to uh subdue the truth, man. And that's all it is. This this devil don't want the truth to get out, and they know that a guy like Nick Cannon and D Jack that has a platform, people will listen to them more than they will us. Like it tells you in the book of Sirach, when a rich man speaks, you know, they extol it to the clouds. But when a poor man speaks, you know, they look to overthrow him, roughly paraphrasing. So they uh -huh. know if these different celebrities get on board with, with, with this movement, so to speak, which is really not, this is our culture, they know they got hell to pay because more people are going to uh, believe it then they will if, uh, you know, one of us was to say it. Because he's basically saying the same thing that we've been bringing out and our apostles and our, uh, our elders for the last how many years, you know. It's the same thing, but they, they, they quick to shut those guys down because they know they have a platform in which we don't necessarily have right now. But we will, man, once all these things come to pass that we've been speaking about. Uh, brother had something. Uh, I was gonna get that that uh Sirach chapter uh chapter thirteen, but you you pretty much quoted it. Kind, if you got it, bring it out, bro. We'll um for edification okay, purposes. All right, this is uh Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter thirteen and verse twenty three. It says, "When a rich man speaketh, speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he said. They stole it to the clouds. But if the poor man speaketh, they say." What fellow is this? And if he if he is if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Yeah, and and that's basically why uh, Esau comes down on these celebrities hard, and they know they have way more to lose than you know a Jake like us, you know, that's uh, not making you know uh, six figures a year. You know, and we ain't really got too much to lose, man, at this point. And it also tells you in uh, 1 Corinthians that the Lord is going to use uh, what it says, the foolish of this world to confound the wise. And it also tell you that not many mighty and noble are called to do this thing. So these guys just need to stay in their lane, man. It's not for you. All right. Anybody got precepts? God, I got some. Go ahead, Shema. God, this, uh, this Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahushai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dumb that I may win Hamashiach. And I brought that scripture out too, just to balance it out that the, the brothers, that the men you see here on the camera, you know, hey, we counted the cost, man. You know, we, we you don't know what the brothers have lost. We may lost, we may lost fat um our whole families have turned against us, you know, for some for some brothers, we lost jobs, you know, money opportunities, you know, time, much time goes to this uh, this truth. You know, you don't know what uh, the brothers have lost um, because of this truth, man, in this walk. You know, and these celebrities don't understand that, man. But the brothers, you know, you see here, you know, in in the in the, in the body in general, you know, have counted the cost, man. We suffer the loss of all things. They may what? We in my shop. They may deliver, be delivered in the time of martial law, in the time of famine, in the time of destruction that is that is to come, that is guaranteed to happen, man. That's what we're trying to win Hamashiach. I mean, we know what's important. We prioritize this truth, man. This truth is not a trend, as a brother mentioned on the cop on the comment board, man. But uh you muted, you muted. 
Mute. Yeah, that mute killing me. Well, uh, brother can continue in Luke uh, 14. What verse you was on? I, I was on uh, 20. I was on 29. Kind of read the 31, Bob Kishama. God, this is Luke chapter 14, verse 29. Let's happily, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that beheld, behold it began to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Yeah, and Nick Cannon has become a mockery. He started to build by stating that, you know, we are the Hebrew Israelites and then couldn't finish the goddamn uh, house. Now you now you sitting out there looking like a fool. You know, because he started the topic or the conversation, but then when backlash came, then nigga started taking the house back down. Got down, you know. Reread that verse. Out. That's 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 the perfect script for what just happened. He began to build and he couldn't finish. Now we doing a lesson on his ass. He being mocked because he 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 ain't finishing, man. And that's with anything. You see a guy start some. You know, he start off at the bases and he began to build. And then when the little boisterous wind come, he started taking this shit down. He's like, man, what the hell wrong with this man? Right. You know, you can't handle a little adversity. You can't handle a little wind. Keep building. But no, as soon as they stripped his ass off with mass singer, wilding out. <laughs> Nigga had multiple jobs, you know. Go ahead. I'll reread that verse, Bob. So. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 30, saying... This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sit him not down first and consult with whether he be able to with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000? Right. So what kind of king is sit down and don't count the cost that if I go in here with these few men, what could possibly happen? And that's the same way you got to look at this thing, man. You don't bring a goddamn uh, a knife to a gunfight. Mm hmm and if you do, you better be prepared to get your ass handed to you, you know? And this just goes with counting the cost. You sit down and say, okay, me being Nick Cannon, if I say this, if I say that, what is the white man going to say? And then at the end of the day, if you can't handle what could possibly come from the white man uh, as a consequence to what you said, hey, then don't say it, you know? But if you can sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna say we the real Hebrew is white, the white man's the devil, uh, they're going into slavery. I'm just saying, because he didn't say all this, but I'm just using that as, as an example. If you are prepared to say all of these things, you also have to be prepared for what's gonna come along with it. And that's just the basis of this lesson, man. These guys getting into stuff that they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Right. I got got Go ahead, bro. Uh, just to back up what you were saying, this is Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. And when you go into that word uh, adversity, it goes into uh, the Hebrew word is uh, tazara, which means straits, trouble, distress, or trouble. And this, this was like a minor thing, man. <laughs> you know, if he got all his money, he, he, can, he got a team that, that they can figure something out so that, that he can still push the word or still push what he was saying. And and then have to apologize, man. And the scriptures say, uh, we will uh I think wasn't the Solomon five says uh well matter of fact, let me just read it right quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Solomon five and one, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. So I mean, he basically, as we've been saying, he's been bitching up, he's been uh acting like a coward, man, because we come in great boldness, putting our lives on the line week in, week out, whether they hear or forbear. And this guy's not even bold. He's backtracking a statement saying he feels ashamed. And <laughs> this guy's just fainting, man. You know, he, he just falling to the ground and uh, I'm, I'm falling. I can't get up type spirit, man. That's the type of spirit that he's in. He, he's just like this Deshaun Jackson and whatever uh, celebrity is going to come, what they're saying next. They should watch. They should watch these lessons and know, hey, man. When it comes to this work, man, let the prophets do the talking and shut up and be a secret disciple, man. Exactly. Hey, and that guy Nick Cannon, bro, he got to stop wearing them turbans and shit now. He got to yeah. stop wearing the fringes. You just apologize. You can't do that and then go back to, you know, claiming to be a Hebrew. It's like you just said it was false rhetoric. So what you going to do now? You know, these guys don't think about these kind of things, man. 
Every time you see him, he got a turban and some fringes on. Nigga, you got to come up off that now. Because you just said just tell that it wasn't what you said wasn't true and that it was hate. Uh, uh, or what he say? And um, propaganda. Propaganda and hateful rhetoric. Then, shit, you got to revamp yourself now. Um, I got a few more precepts and then uh, we can be begin to close out if you brothers ain't got anything. Uh, a brother grabbed for me real quick, Bible shot, uh, the book of First John, uh, the third chapter, and started at verse 13. Because, you know, in count the cause, you got to be prepared for, you know, we keep saying this shit that come with it. You know, we ain't going to be, if you, you, you call yourself a professional athlete, but you don't want to go to practice like AI, he ain't count the cause. What do you think? You think you're just supposed to play in the game all day? And you got to go to practice. That, that's counting the cost. You got to go on the road and play three, four games a night. You know, you got to be away from your family. You got to travel. You got to play 83 games, nigga. You can't just go out there and just think, oh, I'm, I'm me. And then whatever I do, I ain't going to have no consequences behind it. He's still hearing that to this day, man. He don't want to take his ass to practice. He didn't count the cost. My brother got that. Uh, Con, you said you said First John three and thirteen. Uh, Con. Okay, Con. This is the book of First John, chapter three, verse thirteen. It says, "But marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you." Yeah. Are he? Are you surprised that the world hated you for saying what you said? Because you didn't count the cost. If you're surprised. If you if you if you're not marveling at what's happening to you and you were prepared for what's going on, then you would have been straight or you would have just shut your mouth at the end of the day. And th that's it on that. Uh, Salama, anybody got anything? OK. Um, I got what say, Shama? I got some. Kind. Uh, and brother hold a uh, brother hold John, uh, the fifteenth chapter and eighteenth verse. Go ahead, Shamak. Yeah, just real quick. It says, uh, First John chapter two verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hey, simple. That's simple because hey, that's the reason. That's the reason Nick can't turn back because he loved those positions in the world. He loved that. He loved that fame he ha he has. You know, he loved those things so much. That's why when we the brothers, when we read the scripture, love not the world, it prepares our mind to you know to say, man, really fuck those things, man. You know, straight, straight up. That's what that's what we gotta say. And that's what we that's what we repair our minds to that, and that'll have us ready to get through whatever we go go through in the future, man. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh John chapter 15, it goes perfectly. Oh, I got it. All right, start at 18 verse off and read down to 20, Bob Kusha. Uh, 18 verse. Uh, can I get a precept before that? I'll go ahead, bro. Um, this is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38. It says, um, um, yeah, I'll start at 38. It says, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. All right. And that's, that's talking to, to you, Nick Cannon, because you, you drew back. All right. You, you were, uh, Talking all, all, all this, uh, talking about the truth, talking about uh, the scriptures, how were the Israelites, and you drew back, man. So the, the Lord, the, ultimately, the Lord's going to destroy you, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, um, Point blank. This is go John ahead, chapter. Yeah. Was somebody saying something? No, nah, go ahead, bro. Oh, John chapter <laughs> 15 and verse 18. It says, If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Verse 19, if you are of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yeah, and to be chosen out of this world and to speak the things in which we're speaking according to the Holy Scriptures, the world is going to hate you for that, man. You know, the, what, what, uh, what's the saying in the world? The truth hurts. So when this truth come out and they cut their ass like a double-edged sword, they're going to hate you for that, man, because they they know that it's something about 
you know, uh, us Israelites turning back to our power that they're scared of, man. So when you're doing this and speaking the things in which you're speaking, which is true, you know, the world's going to hate you, man. Truth hurts. So if a brother ain't got no, we can uh, close out on that. Did you read the 20th verse, uh, Kabar? Oh, uh, no. Oh, go ahead. It says, uh, verse 20, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If mm -hmm. they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Yeah. And that's counting the cost. You know, if these things happen to our Lord and Savior, just be prepared for these things to happen to you, man. That's all we're saying. So if you're going to proclaim that we're the Hebrew Israelites and that the white man stole our culture and our tradition, stand on it, man, and be prepared for the things that come along with it, man. You know? Uh, anybody got any closing words, closing precepts? Uh, I just wanted to add real quick. Can y'all hear me? Come. Okay, yeah, I just want to add real quick, man. Hey, don't be surprised if uh if if you how about you shot put the spirit on Esau to take Nick Cannon out for that shit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he already done, you know, said what he said. They hate his ass now. Hell yeah. Um, I was when I was looking at the article, I was reading the comments, man. Esau mad as hell, man. Esau mm -hmm. won't Esau won't show ass uh Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. so, and all hey, you, I'm just putting it out there. Yeah, and all you other Jakes that are coming with the same sentiment. You Bro, I was reading the comments that they put on uh, Deshaun Jackson post. They ready to hang that nigga. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, we'll close out, you know, Lord willing, this stream was edifying by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Yep, Shalom. 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 Shalom.